By default, you can't easily add WooCommerce products to your pages if you only have the free version of Elementor. So we can search for a product widget and all we get are these locked ones that we can't use. So I've built a custom plugin that will allow you to easily add products, even if you only have Elementor free. And by the way, if you want to learn how to make a beautiful online store using only free tools, we have a full step-by-step -step tutorial. I will link it below this video. But for now, let's learn how to add these products. Just go to your dashboard to add a new plugin. Then go to Upload Plugin because we will upload our own. Now choose File and I will choose this WPM products. You can download it yourself from the description below this video. Install the plugin and then activate it. Now we can go back to our Elementor page and let's refresh it. Then again search for the product widget. And we have this new WPM products element. We can drag this element wherever you want to add products to your Elementor page. So I will drag it here below my latest products text. And just like that we have our products inserted. And now we can play around with the settings on the left. For example you could display 8 products within 4 columns if you want. Or just 6 products in 3 columns. Which is what I prefer. Then for the order we can see that it's set to order them by their publishing date. So now we are displaying the most recent 6 products on our homepage and I can update to save these changes. Next let's say we want to make a separate page where we only display products that are on sale. You can use this method to display any type of products that you want on any page that you want. We are just using products on sale as an example. So from my pages I can edit the sale page with Elementor. And inside this page I will want to drag in my WPM products widget. Again I will set it to 6 products in 3 columns. Now from its settings we can make it display exactly the products that we want. Just open up these filters and for example you can use this first option to show only some very specific products with certain SKU numbers. I know that for this bag right here the SKU code is MT-BAG-001. So if I write it here now we are only displaying the bag. Or you could use this second option to show only products from certain categories. For example women. And if you want to add another category just write a comma like this and then write men for example. So now we are displaying products from both of these two categories. Finally you can also filter them by tag. So if you only want to show products for the summer season just write summer in here. And now we are only displaying the products that have the summer tag. For my own page I don't want to filter by tag or category. So I can simply remove them. And then I will go back to this display tab. For this first option I want to only display products that are on sale. Right now my store only has 3 products that are on sale and it's these ones. But whenever you set a discount price for another product it will also show up on this page automatically. And with that my sale page is done. I can simply update our changes. So you are now free to create any Elementor page with any products that you want. Next you can learn how to design this whole store using only free tools. Including this great checkout experience with this custom checkout page. We have a full step-by-step -step tutorial and it will pop up on the screen right now. Go watch it and don't forget to subscribe for more high-quality WordPress content. I will see you in the next video.